Hey everyone, happy Sunday. I'm KSAT meteorologist Sarah Spivey. Of course, I've got your forecast for the day today, but everybody talking about the eclipse, so I want to tell you how we're feeling about that. First, though, today we're going to be looking at mostly sunny skies by the afternoon, 84. But those sunny skies are going to be a bit of a tease because clouds do work their way back in overnight tonight. So before the eclipse tomorrow in the morning, the, there will be areas of drizzle and low clouds. However, like Saturday, those clouds will start to break up around the time of totality, which will occur close to 1.30 in the afternoon. We're hoping for breaks in those clouds. As we head into forecast after the eclipse, it looks like some storms are possible. So let's go ahead and talk about your eclipse day forecast. Mostly cloudy skies because, first of all, we're going to get some high thin cirrus clouds moving in. But at the surface, low level clouds will develop in the morning. Now as we head closer to the afternoon hours, right around noon, that's when we'll start to see some breaks in those clouds and we're hoping that there's enough breaks that enough people get a decent view of the total solar eclipse tomorrow. The best viewing or the better viewing rather will be in Texas near to Dallas with even better viewing up through parts of Indiana and the best viewing across the nation actually going to be up in New England. Now back here in San Antonio, these are our options in San Antonio in the Hill Country. Best case scenario, you'll get a partially blocked view of the eclipse. We're the eclipse will be visible between clouds. I actually took these pictures yesterday and you can kind of see the potential there for a few glimpses of the sun if the eclipse is partially blocked and we see those breaks in the low clouds. The other worst case scenario would be that the eclipse would be totally blocked in which the moon and the sun would not be visible. Here's the thing though, it's still going to be a cool experience because regardless of if it's partially blocked or totally blocked, it will still get dark outside. Animals will still react as if it's night and that darkness will happen quicker than any sunset you've ever experienced. So an hour by hour eclipse forecast for you in San Antonio, the Hill Country, early tomorrow, patchy drizzle, then breaks in the clouds. Totality will happen at 1.30 in the afternoon or right around 1.30, depending on where you live. Temperatures will drop by a few degrees. And then as we head into the afternoon tomorrow, there is the potential for a few strong thunderstorms. Chances only 30%, but if you're traveling or have friends traveling, keep that in mind. You want to pay attention to the weather after the eclipse. Tuesday, we have another opportunity for storms. And then as we head into the rest of the week, it'll end up being pretty nice. We are your Eclipse Authority Station, 